Hello everyone, Joe's from Central Jersey, Conrail and Inscale. Welcome back to our training series. Um, so in this video, uh, we're gonna go over the use of the uh, Digitrax throttles, um, just to give you a little familiarization uh, before operating. Um, I'm using a duplexing system, so we're gonna be using the DT402D, and we're gonna be using the UT4D. Those are the two throttles that I've chose for my layout. Okay, so the first thought I'll go over with you briefly is the uh, DT402D. Um, that's the big one with the screen. Now, if you've been in, if you're operating on the layout and you've been given this, um, there's only two positions here on the layout that will be given one of these, and that is the Yardmaster Browns Yard and the Staging Yard Operator. The reason you need this for those two positions is so you can build up consist. So if um, you know a train calls for multiple units, uh, you can build the consist on the throttle. So uh, what I want to give you is just a basic rundown um, so you understand before you get started. So um, if you look at the throttle, here's your digital screen. You have two throttles, uh, left and a right. Um, what, to pick up a locomotive, you hit loco, and the, uh, the, thing will, the display will start flashing. Dial in the address for the lead loco of the consist, and then hit enter. Where's my enter button? Because I'm looking at it backwards, right there. So now you have the primary loco uh, selected on the right-hand throttle. Now for the next loco in the consist, you put it on the left-hand throttle. Uh, hit loco again, dial in the address. You can either use the keypads or you can use the knob to spin it. And then hit enter. So there you go. So now you have two, thro two locomotives on there. Now to build the consist, all you need to do is you need to hit the MU button, which is right here and then hit the addition sign or the Y button and then you have built the consist. So on this consist here, number 85 is the lead and number 2808 is your uh, trailing loco. So now that the consist is built, now if you need to build a third one, what you have to do, uh, if you want to add a third locomotive to the consist, what you would do is you select your left hand throttle, you dispatch that loco out of the screen then you pull up another loco and repeat the process. And you keep stacking them, stacking them, stacking them. But now 85 is always going to be the lead as you're built, tying on the trailing units. So that is uh, one of the main functions why the Yardmaster and the Staging Yard uh, operator has these. Um, the other thing that you need to know on this throttle is that um, there is a, uh, you can control the pa track power just by hitting track power here, I'm not gonna do it because it'll, it'll turn on all the stuff. You hit power and then it'll ask you plus for on, minus for off, and you can turn track power on and off. Um, if you're an operator, please don't be uh, turning on and off the track power because uh, you know, without my uh, permission or the dispatcher's authority. Um, so that's for power. Here, this here, this button here is emergency stop button. So if all, all else goes haywire, just hit the emergency stop and it'll stop all the locomotives. It's called world stop. And that's the way I have it set up so that everything will stop on the layout. So um, if you get into a situation where there's too many trains uh, running into each other or something, just hit, hit stop. Okay, so the only other uh, function I'm gonna show you here on the DT402D is the clock function. If you hit this button here uh, that says CLOC, that uh, sh will show you the time on the fast clock. Um, you know, it's a nice little function to have on your throttle, um, but it's not really needed, because don't forget we have the logic rail uh, fast clock on the valance over by uh, Sayreville, so you can always look over there. But if you do want to look at the time on your uh, throttle, you can do that. Otherwise, as operators, uh, I'm going to ask you with the DT402 is not to do anything else. Please don't be programming. Don't go into the, uh, the switch function. Uh, don't be changing op switches or anything like that. Uh, leave all the uh, settings as they are on the layout. Um, I've given you here is the basic functions that you need as an operator for the staging yard or, the br or Brown's yard. So the rest of my operators who will be running uh, road trains or doing uh, local switching, uh, you'll be using the UT4D. Um, this, uh, this throttle is a very simplified uh, version. Uh, it doesn't have a screen like the DT402. Um, the way that this works is you need to know the consist address or the address of your locomotive. You spin these little dials so that the numbers will show up. If it's a four digit, it'll start from here and go all the way across. If it's two digit, you just use these two. So you can see that this is dialed up for number five, eight. 
Now, uh, when the power, when the battery is in and this is power is applied, these are not like the uh, the old style simplex uh, UT4s. You you don't have to plug these in to acquire the uh, address. Um, you can actually do that. You'll get a flashing red light. Uh, hold the steel button and then let let go and then it'll flash green. When you have a, a green flashing LED on the UT4D, that means that you've acquired the address. Um, there is a battery in here. Um, it is gonna be wireless. Um, the other things you need to know on this is this is your, uh, your direction. Um, rear of the locomotive, that's in the neutral or braking function, and this is the forward end of the locomotive. So that's what this is here. And then this is your throttle on how you increase your throttle. Um, there is, well, let's see, you have uh, F0 for your headlight, F1 for your um, bell, F2 for your horn. Um, and then if you want to use any of the alternate functions, at, but though I don't have any locomotives that you really need to worry about that, but if in an event you do, all you have to do is hit the shift button here in one finger and then hit the button that you want. So by hitting shift, this uh, F2 becomes F8. So that's how these work. Um, I love these throttles. They're very simple. Uh, they have great control on the, on the knob. Um, even though there's not a graduation marks or there's not a display to tell you what the percentage is of the throttle, um, you know, it's still very fine uh, movements on this throttle. So I, that's one of the reasons why I really like these. Also for the simplification, uh, you know, for operators who don't know the Digitrack system, uh, the UT4D is very simple. Uh, within a few minutes, uh, you'll be up and running and taking the train out on the layout. Okay, and so the last throttle that I will go over with you is going to be using the Y throttle app. Um, you know, I'm going to, at all operating sessions, I will have the, uh, the system up and running so that you can use your phone if you have the Y throttle. Uh, I know my first operating session, Eric, he, he enjoyed using his phone more than a throttle. So I just, he just plugged in. All you have to do is there's the guest, the, uh, the network here acquire the network and then open up your app and it'll go right in. If you cannot, if you don't pick it up right away, the current, the server name is say or her secondary. So you just select say or her secondary on the server name on Y throttle. And then all you have to do is select your, um, your locomotive from the roster and then click over to throttle and you're all good to go. So very simple. Um, anybody who's using this probably will know how to use it to begin with. So I'm not going to go over all the functions. Uh, it, uh, you know, it's it, it's a great option, um, and uh, I'll have it all always running for for our op session. So if you enjoy using your phone, uh, please by all means do. So that concludes our training uh, for this time. Uh, going over the, the three throttle systems that we have here on the Sega Hurst Secondary. So now you should be up to speed uh, when you come down for an op session. Um, for those of you out there, like I indicated in the, in the first training video, um, if you're watching uh, here on the channel, uh, I hope you maybe picked up a few things that you may not have known. Um, I Like I said, I'm just gonna put these out there uh, as an open format and let everybody see them. Uh, Cause I don't know, maybe you may become an operator one day. So at least you'll have seen these videos. Um, otherwise, that's all I have for this time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, Central Jersey Conrail and Skill. Thanks.